What has he done since the time he got here through the day that has impressed you and what's he improved on? Uh, CJ, the thing that has impressed me the most is just his dedication to being as as best as he can possibly be. Right? He's he puts the work in, not only when he's here, of course, everybody does that, that's given. But what you see about CJ, the work that in preparation that he does when he's not here. Right? He's a true football junkie. He loves football, always watching football, always asking for extra cut-ups from our coaches. So I'm, I'm just impressed with the mental part of him and just how much he loves the game of football. When your guy has that much love for the game of football, he has no chance but to continue to get better and improve and that's what I've seen with him from OTAs until now. Each day, he's done what we've asked, and he's gotten better each and every day. He's uh, just continuing to keep his head down and just, just grind. He's not worried about you know what reps he gets, who's he out there with. He's just worried about maximizing his rep, and that's what I ask for from everyone. Nico, what did you see on the play where Dalton Schultz got shaken up? How was Dalton doing that? What, what, what actually the part is? Uh, yeah, just a bang-bang play. He'll be fine. What, what are some of the things that you've seen CJ get better at while the training camp with the team? Yeah, with CJ, I've seen, you know, just from the command of the huddle, and that's the start of it all, you know, with college players now. A lot of it, everybody's looking to the sideline, and they see a signal or picture, and that's their play. But here we're asking them to, all right, operate from a huddle, which is new, all right, get in and make play calls, which play calls can be long and lengthy sometimes. There's a lot of – Different terminology there you have to learn. So that just you have to start off right. And so getting the command of the play call, the command of the huddle, like seeing him grow right in that area has been really good. Okay, as, this defense is growing, as, this, as this defense, have you started to see your imprint on this defense the way that they're, they're swarming towards the ball? That's what we want from our defense, to swarm. And I love to see our guys swarming. That's what it's all about, and it's uh, with our defense. Really, it's not about me. It's about the players out there doing the, doing the work. And when you see guys like Jimmy Ward, Jalen Petrie, all right, Christian Harris, Stingley, guys just making plays, and guys are focused and intent on being deliberate of attacking the ball. That's what Houston, Texas defense will look like. Competition is tight at the linebacker at the linebacker spot. A lot of a lot of good players there, and guys have really they're starting to jail as a group. They're playing well together. They're making plays each and every day. So I'm excited to where that group can can take off and be. So they're doing all those guys are doing a really good job. Uh, Coach Kiffin is doing a great job coaching. Got a lot of players talking about how dense the playbook is. How Bobby Sloan's got just so much to throw out there with CJ. How you see them? Going through that, manage it, how it go, like knowing that he's making that transition. Yeah, with the playbook, it hasn't been an issue. Right? He knows the reads, knows his progressions, where he should go. He's making the proper decisions with the ball. So, a playbook is not an issue at all. Have you gone through the first few days of camp that has really maybe surprised you or has really jumped out that you maybe didn't realize kind of everything that he's had? Uh, no real surprises. One thing I, I can see in camp. It's always revert back to OTAs, and one thing I see from OTAs and from camp, it's those same guys who showed up in OTAs, they're continuing to show up in camp. And if you're going to be a really good team in the NFL, you have to be consistent. And so for me to see that consistency of guys like Noah Brown, Dalton Schultz, Tank Dell, to see their consistency, Damian Pierce, like, that's what I love to see. So it's no surprises to me who's making plays out here because those same guys made plays when we were here in the spring. Coach, are you comfortable with the progressions you saw today from the quarterbacks? It felt like a couple times, maybe holding on the ball, not trusting their eyes. Were you comfortable with the progressions from all three quarterbacks? Yeah, we can get better there. For, of course, on offense, we want to protect the ball. So it's hand-in-hand. It goes hand-in-hand. Defensively, yeah, they did a great job of attacking the ball today, but we know offense, first thing, first protect the ball, protect the team. So – we have to be much better with our decision making there, knowing all right when can we try to fit a ball in and when it's time to just all right move on to the next play. What's the Sheldon rank this first day? What's your expectation for the training? Yeah, Sheldon has done an awesome job, man. Just the leader that Sheldon is off the field, what he bring, what he'll bring to our defense. All right, we're working him back in. He's progressing well. That's happy to see him out practicing with us. What do you see from Xavier? Yeah. Punches showed up. Uh, a 
lot. You see Hunt is showing up on some big plays down the field, big physical receiver. He's showing up uh, in camp making a few plays, so excited to see him continue to continue to work and improve what he's doing, but happy to have him as well. The man in the huddle, what else would you like to see? I can see that too. I think it's just taking it one day at a time. And it's the small things when you talk about its footwork, right? It's progress eyes, like all of those little things. And that's CJ, like, figuring those things out, right, with his coach, getting with him and just working on just one thing a day. We can't – we're not trying to give him eight or ten things to work on. We just want to be dialed in and very deliberate and working on just one thing, getting better each day. What do you think about Tank? Uh, Tank, is, Tank has made some, uh, some exciting plays out here at camp. Right, you see him make, he's very, uh, he's making some explosive plays. Seems like a guy that, that he's very quarterback friendly. He knows how to get open. I right, really like his, his route running ability. Right, and he's, I, I was joking with him in the meeting yesterday, it seems like he's always open. Even when the ball isn't going to him, he's still right, running his routes violently like, you, like we like him to, and he's consistently uh, getting open. Hey, Coach, I know it's probably been Jerry Hughes. Jerry Hughes. Jerry. Uh, another veteran guy that we had is um, Jerry's been working each and every day. Jerry hadn't missed a day since we started OTAs, but Jerry brings an element to our defense where you talk about a guy who can rush the passer. He's done it consistently throughout his career. That's going to be something we need. We need multiple guys who can rush the passer, and Jerry adds that ele element to our defense. Coach, have you been, Cody and Landry. Coach, have you been a bit surprised by the production you've been seeing out of John Mitchell going that's been so long? Not surprised what John Mechie is doing at all. I've seen, seen Mechie play a lot of football at Alabama, seen him make a lot of plays, and that's who he is. So he's not surprising me. It, man, I'm just fired up that he's back out here. It's an inspiration to me to see John Mechie and what he's been through and to see his attitude each and every day. I mean, he's uplifting everyone's spirit around here, and I just I love that kid. He's doing an excellent job for us. Uh, birthday and a day off. Uh, did you get to enjoy it, or did you get your feet on your work bag? What, how'd you spend it? <laughs> well, birthday we were working, and yesterday on a day off we were working too. So the work never stops. But I did, I did get to uh, enjoy a little time. I was just hanging uh, with my family, hanging out with the kids, just playing games at the house. Just got a couple hours there just to step away from it all and take that, you know, take that breath of fresh air to just think, regroup, and ready to go for the next day. Thank you. Turn game. Is that something we can anticipate moving forward? We saw Dale back there. We saw Sam's back there. And cool with Medji being back there right now coming off the hand. We'll see how, how that progresses. If Medji can be that guy for us back there, there's a lot of competition for the return spots. We'll continue to evaluate everyone. Anyone that can return, we'll evaluate and see how they can help us uh, win games. All right. Thank All right, you. Thank you.